Hello, I want to talk about the block bindings API, specifically about the custom sources in the block bindings API. I just learned about it recently by looking at the article by Artemio Morales on Make WordPress, all about block bindings API, and it explains how it works, but there's a small feature that I haven't seen mentioned elsewhere, which was a game changer, mind blowing for me at least, because it allows you just to have way more power with the block bindings API, which is very powerful on its own. So what is the block bindings API? First of all, it allows you to bind data to a core field, for example, a text, uh, just a paragraph or an image or a button. And instead of having to create a custom block to do that, which I'll show you how complex it is really quickly um, by the documentation, you could just bind the data. So a quick example would be a book, for example. Let's say you have a book custom post type and you wanna show the ISBN on the template of the book, then <laughs> you would create a custom block just to show the ISBN, which really could just be a heading or a paragraph. And you want all the standard styling features for that. So if you create a custom block, you have to create all the supports and everything for it. So it's a lot of code, a lot to maintain. Whereas if we could just bind the data, so that's where the block binding API comes in, which is great. Now, what I really want to talk about is the custom sources where you can create a source for it, because right now it only works for um, custom fields, post meta, and just core fields. And so it's nice, okay, and it's great, especially if you're doing those fields in that way. And if you want to use ACF, it's fine too, because they already support it as well. I mean, you could do block bindings with them. But what I found is that you can create custom sources. And why would you would need that? I'll explain shortly. But let me just first show you the benefit of this, just point blank with their example, which is mind blowing. Okay. So, Block bindings, how do they work? Well, you go into a post and whenever, if this looks confusing at all, don't worry. If you go, this is a brand new site here. I'm just going to go into a post. For example, I'm just going to go to post. Hello world. Yeah, why not? Okay. So we're in here. And typically, again, you would create a custom post with something like ISBN, right? And, and that would be your custom, custom block, I mean. But now uh, you could do something, and we're going to do their example of copyright, for example. The copyright block then would be, you would create a block, which I'll show you right now what documentation states that the procedure is, and it's fine again for complex things. And then you would be able to use it. So here, the example they're showing, you might want to bind the data of something, right? Basically, when you make a paragraph here, like this one, or I'll just say cop, I'll just say copy. Okay. So if I go up here, and I select code editor, I can see the markup for it. And so this is there for all core fields and regular, well, any other field. So basically you just grab this part and paste it into here. And when you do that, you're telling WordPress that this paragraph with all its styling and everything should get its data, not from here, but rather from this custom post type that is in core WordPress meta, or like I showed in an ACF field with a specific key. So that's neat because you can now have your ISBN field in the contextual of the book and just put it in here, go back. And now this one will show here as a, I don't know, just whatever you put there, <laughs> placeholder. That's what I wanted to say. So it'll show as a placeholder, it will show here, right? And when you show it in the front end, it will show the actual content. All right. So I'm just going to delete everything here, go back to the editor. All right. And I'm going to actually do an example. So this is great. Let me show you their example. The example that they did for custom sources is a copyright block. So to select something to show, as a binding that has to be available as a source. But if it's not, you can still do it. And an excellent example, I think, is we recently had to do a citation block. And this citation block would just take the title, uh, the list of authors from a repeater field, it would take dates and a PubMed ID and some other information. And so you would have to build a custom block for it, which again, could be fine. But what if 
you don't want to build a custom block. You just, you know, you have those fields, you can get to them via PHP and you just want to include them as a binding and keep all of the paragraphs styling. Well, what you would do in this scenario is create a source. So here's the registration mechanism. Basically in the init, you create a little code that registers a binding source and you give it a callback like this one and that's it. Then you can use it. So, so once you have this, then you can literally just bind it like we did before and it will show whatever you had in the callback function. So if I go ahead and do this in this site, I'm going to go to the back end here. I'm going to go to theme file editor. You would do this in VS code or wherever, where you're managing, hopefully your code and using Git and everything, but I'm just going to do it here right now. And that's it. Okay. Now I'm going to update the file. And now this is registered. You can change this, of course, you use your theme slug, what you want this um, binding to be, etc. And then you can enter whatever information you want here. You can get multiple fields, join them together. You can do database queries, whatever you want. You can do here because it's just a PHP function callback. But just to show this example, okay, we're going to go back to the posts. And in the hello world one, I am going to do this, which is just show that particular markup that we were doing before. Okay. So here, copyright, this would be what is shown regularly. If you see, it's just W paragraph. The difference is the following. It just has, it's the same thing just right after paragraph it might be confusing. If you've never used the editor for, for blocks, I know it was for me at the beginning, but it's just adding in here. It's just adding this JSON data that will will get the dynamic information. So let's go back. And so now you can see this has a little purple border around and it means that it's now a dynamic block. So if I go and view the post, I can see copyright 2024. So let's go back to the theme file editor here. And I'll do another video where I go through this the proper way, but I did really want to just show the power of this. So here, my company name, right? You can do whatever. Uh, anything you want, fetch fields, uh, com combine, do calculations, whatever you need to do with your database, you can do. And so now that callback will have anything that you did. And of course I missed the space. So it works. Now look at the difference between this, you can make up your own mind, of course, and doing a block. And by all means, I, I, I don't when I detract people from creating blocks, they're fantastic and they're, they're great, especially if you want to create the UI for them in the editor and you want to be editable, if you're using React and everything, it's just, it works wonders. But for small things where you just want to do a copyright block and you want to keep the supports for colors, for, for typography, for everything, look at what you would have to do to do the exact same thing, okay? You would have to, you're just building a block here, right? You would have to obviously set up your build uh, environment which is fine again. Okay. <laughs> you would have to have all these files, right? And basically you need your block JSON and you need to tell it what you're going to do when you're going to say what you want to support, like color, HTML, typography. And then obviously you can clear some of the stuff from the create, uh, from the uh, basic block that, that they scaffold for you. And you register the block type and you add the custom icon and you up edit up the edit JS file to include what it's going to show in the editor and you get the year and everything. So you do everything for PHP, you do it everything for uh, in uh, JS as well, so that you could do the, the back, the site editor and what it's shown in server render as well. So you get a little more features, but you do all this to basically get the same output. So this is just my thought. If you are going to basically put text into a paragraph element and you want to keep everything else that a paragraph contains, then you do not need to create a block for it. You could just create a custom source for bindings. If you want to add this sort of custom data, if you want to just use a regular field out of the box, like an ISBN field, just as it is, then just use regular block bindings. You don't need to do any code. Okay. If you, well, you don't actually need to do this because really you could also, there's many ways of doing this particular thing. Like you could go in here and actually just create a little row, right? And within the row, you could add the copyright sig symbol 
if you wanted to and then after it you could add the date and just tell it what format you want for um, for the year right here custom right and so i mean you could there's all sorts of ways you create a pattern for this and just use it around your site with the copyright icon whatever but this is just to showcase what you can do with bindings, which is very special in my opinion. And then another thing that we, I recently did this week, which I think is very nice, is at the same time that you could do something like this, you can sort of expand a paragraph block with additional functionality without going too crazy. So for example, I created this one here and it is I'm also registering another source here, okay, for the DOI. Okay, and for this, maybe I just wanted whatever that field had. It's called a DOI field, okay? This field has an identifier and it should link to doi.org slash that, and that's it. So without creating a custom block, I could just make this and what it will do is we'll get the meta from the post and then it will return for within the paragraph the text DOI with a link inside it. And so now it's clickable and it has a label and it just works. So you can go crazy with this. You could do a lot of things where you don't need to create a blog. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. And again, this was just a quick video to showcase this feature that I think is amazing. Again, props to Artemio Morales for this write-up because I found this information because of him. So uh, I'm happy that WordPress is doing all this. It's constantly growing and making the editing and development experience even greater for everyone involved. So this is going to be a great year. Cheers.